उनकी तरफ अब चलते हैं तो लेट्स गो टू स्पोर्ट्स वेलकम्स यू टू द फॉलोइंग प्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ द एनबीए इट्स द 2K स्पोर्ट्स प्री गेम शो And coming up for you shortly, it is the Los Angeles Lakers in action against the Los Angeles Clippers. Well, for the Clippers, a big point of emphasis: control the tempo, push it at your speed. Don't let them slow the game down, and also don't allow yourselves to get rushed because that's when mistakes happen. And in that deep draft of 2017, Kyle Kuzma went late in the first round. Kenny, if there were a redraft, would he be a lottery pick? A redraft, knowing what he's done for yeah. the Lakers, not just like not knowing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, knowing what he's done for yeah. the Lakers. Oh, he's a lottery pick. He, he, he the first ever rookie to get a thousand points, four hundred rebounds, and a hundred and thirty threes. Yeah, but he's there because he's working hard and he wants to be a complete player. Now with LeBron there, be a mentor, just going to take his game to a new level. I think he's a superstar already. The uh, tip-off is coming up shortly. Time to send it to Kevin Harlan for the call. And the Lakers all decked out as they made their way off the bus and into the arena earlier on. And the game arrival, sponsored by Express, dress like a pro. The bright lights and tall buildings of downtown Los Angeles setting the scene for us here tonight. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. With David Aldridge on our sideline, and here with me, Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. This is Kevin Harlan. DA, take it away. Well, LeBron James is closing in on the top three all-time list in scoring. LeBron said it's an honor, but he added. Scoring has never been on my list of goals. Facilitating, rebounding, defending, getting blocked shots, and things of that nature always ranked above that. Kevin, he has filled up the box score for a long time. He can impact the game in so many ways. Da, thank you. And now the Lakers starting group: LeBron and Davis, the incredible forward pair. Green out there with Avery Bradley, and it's McGee in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And for the Clippers. They've got Ivica Zubac, Patrick Beverly out there with Paul George. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Morris in at the four. I like this tonight, Smitty. We have veteran leadership on both teams. When you were a rookie in the NBA, who was your mentor? You know, Kevin, this is going to surprise you because everybody looks at guys um, kind of on the court. My mentor was Manute Bow. Really? I played nothing like Manute Bow, but I would tell you, Kevin, he was my mentor. He would grab me by the ear and twist it and tell me what I needed to do, as far as a leadership standpoint. I never would have guessed him, Smitty. Never. Uh, Kevin, I walked in with some shorts and a polo shirt in Miami. He grabbed my ear and said, "That's not professional. You better wear a suit." I'm like Manute is 90 degrees. I had to wear a suit every game. I like that story. <laughs> He's got to be disappointed with himself on that one. He has got to knock those down. Poked away, and there's the call on Patrick Beverly. That's his first foul. McGee with it. Outside, shot clock at six. They get a hand on it. Leonard with the ball. He's picked up by LeBron. Leonard attacking, and he uses the glass on the layup. Leonard's got the game going here with the first basket for the Clippers. One thing about Kawhi, when he's driving, he eats up real estate fast with those long strides. James looking around. The pass to Green, just four to shoot from deep three-point range, kept alive, and it's McGee slamming it down. That's why you never quit battling on the offensive glass, and that's a nice reward for his effort. Uh, the flush, perfect. Working hard, beating everyone to the ball. He does this night in and night out. Hard to create space in that mid-range area. He would have been better passing that off. Feeds it to Davis. 
Yes. And it's James picking up the assist. Beautiful pass. LeBron, fun to watch. Intelligent, outstanding read. The Clippers last year, they scored well. Lacked a true superstar, but they were aggressive. Case in point, number one in the league in free throw attempts. And here's Beverly. No good from outside. And this is what you like about his perimeter D. Never gave up and challenged the deep. You see some guys, they just mail it in. They don't go out and contest it. Not him. He's going to compete through the entire play. And the Clippers making a change here. Williams has checked in. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. McGee, the pass to Green, and it's Paul George with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. And Smitty getting to the line most often for the Clippers last season, Lou Williams and Gallinari. That combination was fascinating to watch. When you have guys who can score on all three levels and know how to draw fouls, that puts tremendous pressure on the defense. Now here is McGee, six on the shot clock. I'm deep. Bringing a strong work ethic defensively. Morris grinding on the shooter there. Bradley against Williams. Pass to Zubac. Kicks to Leonard. From outside the arc. Rebound the Lakers. McGee's got his fourth rebound in this one. Throws it up high. Leonard with the steal. Here's George. And it's George finishing it off. And I just love the aggressiveness from George. Just slicing apart the defense with that terrific ability to penetrate. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. And maybe the biggest story of this summer. Where would Kawhi Leonard be headed in free agency? A player of his caliber commands that kind of media streak. Checked in for Zubac. Jermichael Green comes in for Marcus Morris. And Landry Shamit subbed in for George. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. White Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for James. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Danny Green. Arjan Rondo subbed in for Avery Bradley. Howard kicks to Davis. For three, Caldwell Pope. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Greg, you talk about the media focus for Kawhi Leonard. Not exactly something he embraces. Not at all. As a kid on his birthdays, he'd shudder himself in his room because he didn't want the attention. To this day, he lets his play do the talking. Leonard with the steal. Williams against Kuzma. Williams passes to Leonard over Rondo. And it's Anthony Davis with the rebound. It's been a rough quarter for him. Can't seem to find any kind of rhythm. And Howard with the stuff. And you see Howard still with some of the signature explosiveness there. Powerful drive. Now here's Williams. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Lakers leading by three. One oh three left in the first quarter of the game. Green against Davis. 
Fades away. And it's off the back rim. No good. And he's frustrated. That's a shot he can make in his sleep. He is still commanding a lot of defensive attention. Howard just keeps his head up and finds the open man. Here's Leonard. Kuzma with the defensive effort. I don't know how many shots he's missed this quarter, but they're going to have to find offense from someone else. Davis and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. This is what you love about AD. He combines the skill with the great physical attributes and excellent pump fake. Lakers shooting their first free throws here for the night. And looking at last season's numbers, down below 70% as a team from the line. The great thing about Anthony Davis, he's efficient. He shoots a great percentage from the field and from the line, and he doesn't turn it over. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Caldwell Pope. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. Money from the stripe. He does a great job night in and night out. Williams looking over the floor, over Davis. Williams can't hit. Here are the Lakers with the ball. They're on a 13-4 run right now. Out of bounds, the Clippers take possession. And the Clippers have possession. They trail by seven. with the block and he gets it back and that concludes the first quarter of play Lakers lead by seven we'll be back shortly live from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles Paul George had that nasty broken leg back in 2014 he described what inspired him to come back even stronger my inspiration really came from my mother you know, her dealing with stroke, her dealing with really being down and out. You know, I saw her fight back. That was enough for me. In my darkest days, uh, I knew it was nothing to what my mom went through, and she came out perfectly fine, so. Well, what a story. George worked hard to get back and is not disappointed in his return. You know, recovering from a devastating injury is never easy, but George's perspective and commitment helped him to overcome it. And hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And let's quickly break down the game we've seen from the Lakers here so far, guys. Stingy on the defensive end in that first quarter. They were just getting up into people. Yeah, they were very physical and very aggressive. They've just been the better team so far. And now brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. Setting the floor for the Clippers. Montrez Harrell is out there with Jermichael Green. And there's Jackson. Then it's Patrick Beverly. And it's Shamit in at the three spot. Now here's Howard. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Kuzma. Stolen by Jackson. And here we go. Fast break. Beverly's got it. There's the dish to Jackson. Back to Beverly, pass to Harrell, over Howard. No good on the shot, a bit long that time. Lakers leading by seven, and last season, Montrez Harrell absolutely came alive for the Clippers. He's always played with energy, but was more focused and made the most of his chances. You like to see him provide a little more on the glass, but make no mistake, he's a great finisher at the rim. Now here's Rondo after Markeith Morris's miss. Knocked away. Yeah, nice effort there in tracking down the long rebound. Shamit. And that one is off. So the Lakers will take it the other way. Kuzma kicks the run. And now approaching two minutes of action here in the second quarter. Kuzma passes to Rondo. Here is Howard, guarded by Jackson. 
And now the Clippers on the break. From downtown, Dwight Howard pulls it in. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. To the middle. And there's Morris. That's good on the assist by Rondo. Morris has got the first basket of the second quarter for the Lakers. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Beverly feeling it out a bit. Green finds Jackson. Five to shoot. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Morris is checked in for the Clippers. Paul George comes in for Landry Shamit. And then for the Lakers. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Green in for Rajon Rondo. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. LeBron kicks to Caruso. Morris outside. James outside. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Pass to George. Beverly dishes to George. You know, Smitty, every team at some point faces some locker room turmoil. How tough is it to balance team chemistry? You know, it's very tough. Sometimes you have those one or two player additions that it just changes the dynamic of your team. Sometimes you lose a leader. He might not be the best player. Then a lot of times guys are playing for contracts and some guys get a little bit upset because they figure they're playing for their individual success versus team. But when you have that right chemistry, it is beautiful. Zubox is checked in for the Clippers. Kawhi Leonard comes in for Jackson. Just five on the clock. The pass to Beverly. The three. Zubox trying to break loose. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. Lou Williams is checked in for the Clippers. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for the Lakers. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. They lead by their biggest margin of the game. Nine. Bradley against Williams. Caldwell Pope outside. Six to shoot. In the corner, Bradley with it. Pulls up. The Clippers grab the miss. In the corner, George with it. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. That's on LeBron James. Yeah, easy call. The Clippers shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, and 79% from the line as a team a season ago. Pretty reliable in that regard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. He hits one, then this is the second attempt from the free throw line. And hard work on the glass. Once again, guys, they put a lot of effort and focus on the backboard. A for effort, but when there's that much resistance at the rim, better find another option. George finds William. McGee with the block. LeBron against Leonard. Got a piece of it. Outside, Davis. In the corner, it's James. Shoots over Zubac. A shot's good from LeBron. LeBron's got the lead up to 10 now for the Lakers. The Clippers have gotten off to a rough start here in the second quarter. 0 for 5. 
Here's Leonard. That one doesn't go. Great D that time from LeBron. Bradley against Williams. Bradley passes to McGee. Back to Bradley. And here we go. George heading to... Oh, my God! And hustle paid off there for George in the open court. Gets up court in a flash and finishes before the D. Can't even react. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Deft touch on the alley-oop. And what an alley-oop. Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Bounce pass from Williams. Here's Leonard. Rebounded by McGee. McGee's got six rebounds in the game. The struggle is real. He's been way off with his shot all evening long. Two-second difference between shot clock and game clock. Here's James. Five on the clock. From deep three-point range. Another shot. And no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers going into the break with a 10-point lead. Defensively, they have gotten after it, contesting every shot going up. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It's the Lakers out on top at halftime. They lead by 10. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Lakers? The area where they impressed me the most has been on the boards. When the shot's going up, everybody goes for it. Just a matter of maintaining that energy, playing with that same kind of aggression in the final two quarters. And Kenny, let's get your thoughts on the Clippers. They need to make major adjustments on the offense. Whatever their game plan was going into this game, scrap it. It's not been effective. The shots they were taking were not good shots. They need to find a way to spring guys open so they can shoot a better percentage. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. And happy you could join us. We've got two quarters left to go in regulation. Without question, George is playing his skills today. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything that the league can do to slow him down. He, he's just that good. You know, you almost take it for granted. You look at his numbers from the first half. They're just expected at this point. And we've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. Clippers trail by 10, so for the Lakers right now, Green and LeBron at the 2 and the 3. JaVale McGee is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's Bradley in at the 1. A two-time Defensive Player of the Year, Kawhi Leonard last season averaged 27 points a game. That's what you call a two-way player. Throw good from Kawhi Leonard. And a career high in scoring last season for the great Kawhi Leonard. Kevin, he maintained his elite efficiency. Kawhi Leonard's growth as a scorer has been remarkable over the course of his career. No free throws good from Kawhi Leonard. You know, when you look at the MVP race each year, most of the candidates were drafted in the top five, but somehow Kawhi lasted to number 15.
McGee with the block. And, and, and really credit their advantage on the backcourt. That's where the lead has been built, and that's why they are in control. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Eight-point game. Quick shot there, and it's off target. The Lakers shooting for the game at 42%. Pass to Green. It's Bradley on the wing. Zubats defending. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. You know, perimeter scoring more important than ever. However, Anthony Davis, an elite scorer, who still gets it done inside. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Now, how about last season? He made about 79% of his attempts, so those are really quality numbers. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First free throw is good. And you look at the top scorers in the league, not too many players, 6'11 or taller. Anthony Davis, the Greek freak, and Carl Anthony Towns, the common thread. They can score facing the basket. All three franchise players. On Harrell, he's checked in for the Clippers. Morris is checked in for the Lakers. And so Anthony Davis nails both of them. When your bigs can make free throws, it's a huge advantage. Love his approach to getting to the line. And Beverly kicks to Harrell. The Clippers need to get off a shot. And it's Beverly missing. They've come out ice cold to start this half. Three misses and as many attempts. Here's Leonard. Beverly dishes to Leonard. The rebound by the Lakers. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. And it's slammed in by Davis. What a beautiful play. And it was great timing. Then the athletic finish by 80. Clippers trail by 12. Now here's Beverly. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Here's Leonard. Rebound the Lakers. Davis has got his sixth rebound on the night. This ugly start to the second half. They're still scoreless in their first five attempts. Morris against Bradley. Here's Davis. And a wide open look for James. But they recover it. And James throws it down. The King, timeless, saying, I'm going to keep doing what I do until they catch up with me. Clippers have gone over 5 to the start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. Pass to George. Steve, when it comes to creating contact, which offensive moves can create the impression of a foul where the defensive player can do nothing about it? I think ripping through the defender's arms is really tough for the defensive guy right now, Kevin. That's a hard move to defend if you're the defender. Smitty, I think guys actually practice this, don't they? Ways they can kind of lure a defensive player in like that. They do. They are, they're strong enough now, and also they are, like you said, practicing that type of move. And the first one comes. A different look for the Clippers. Green, he's checked in for Marcus Morris. Andre Shamick comes in for Kawhi Leonard. And Reggie Jackson subbed in for Patrick Beverly. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. White Howard's checked in for Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for LeBron. Alex Caruso, he's checked in for Danny Green. Rajon Rondo subbed in for Avery Bradley. And George drops them both. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. Caruso looking for an opening. Morris finds Rondo. Passes to Kuzma. Lock at six. Some solid defense there from Jackson. Clippers trail by 12. 
over Rondo. And nothing but air on that one. The Lakers have gone two of five shooting here in the third quarter. Caruso, the pass to Morris. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And at the line last year, he was good on about 77% of his attempts. Shooting two. Free throw is good for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Jermichael Green, and it's Williams in for Paul George. And the Lakers also making a switch. Caldwell Pope checked in. And Morris drops them both. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. Outside Williams. Loads it up there for Harrell. Throws down the alley oop slam. Good vision, good decision by Reggie. Pushing for a better shot, finds an open man. And wow, you just have to love the motor on Montrez Harrell when he's on the floor. Great on the glass, and he just plays with such a, a fire. Now, here's Caldwell Pope. Clock at four. And oh, boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. And with Harrell, you can see how his energy spreads to the rest of the team. Reminds me a bit of what Fareed used to bring the team. Harrell is also undersized, but, boy, he makes up for it in so many ways. starting to get to the line at a higher rate. JaVale McGee's check in for Morris. And Caldwell Pope drops them both. And they're drawing more whistles and working their way to the line here in the second half. Knocks it loose. Jackson against Rondo, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And as long as Reggie Jackson is healthy, he's going to give you some punch as a lead guard. Solid scoring option, and a guy who's also unselfish in terms of getting his teammates involved. Makes the first. And for the last half decade, Reggie Jackson has been good for about 15 points a game. And that is about the consistency you can expect from Jackson. He's always been a talent. The key for him is just staying on the floor. Jackson hits both of them. Yeah, I like that they haven't lost their aggressiveness here in the second despite being down. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldrich. Well, Kevin, tampering is a touchy subject, but it's a word we're hearing more often. Teams want to retain their star players, but they know that there's always talk during a season. Now, teams can only express interest in a player when he hits free agency. Players can talk amongst each other freely all season. Star players like LeBron James are tied into their front offices. Some people wonder if there's much of a difference between what the player says and what his team is thinking. Kevin? Good point, David. Thank you. And when you can't get anything to fall, it definitely gets in your head. And his rhythm, it's been way off. The goal now might be to get him something easy at the rim so he can just see the ball go in through the net, and that helps. 
Now Rondo following the three-point attempt by Lou Williams. From deep. Rondo can't get it to go. Clippers trail by 14. Jackson kicks to Williams. Shoots over Kuzma. Williams, that's good. The craftiness of Lou Williams able to create separation off the dribble. About three seconds between shot and game clock. Rondo finds Kuzma. And a jam it with the rebound. The Clippers shooting only 21% from the field so far. He dishes it to Williams. From deep three-point range, and so it's the Los Angeles Lakers enjoying a 12-point lead as they talk things over during the break. What a defensive effort they put on Kawhi Leonard. It's rare to see him have the kind of trouble he's had tonight. Back to the action after this word. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Yeah, you also have the location of the pass. Puts it right where it needs to be, where his man can do something with it. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Lakers leading by 12. Marcus Morris is out there with Ivica Zubac. Then it's Williams. Then there's Reggie Jackson. And it's Leonard in at the small forward position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Clippers. That's what the offense is designed to do. Get LeBron high percentage looks. Jackson dishes to Leonard. Looking to get it going, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. We see a lot of big men creating offense, Smitty. Who's on your list for perhaps the best outlet passer in the game right now? Um, let's start off. I would say Kevin Love is one of those guys who still is, I think, the best outlet passer as a big. Um, Jokic, also Blake Griffin, some of those guys uh, can really pass. DeMarcus Cousin, those are some of the bigs that have great outlet passes. First one falls for him. Andrew Beverly is checked in for Reggie Jackson. And then for the Lakers, Howard's checked in for Kyle Kuzma. Green comes in for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And it's Avery Bradley in for Rajon Rondo. Oh, three throws good from Kawhi Leonard. And so James will bring it up for the Lakers. Dishes it to Howard. Back to LeBron. And he converts the layup. LeBron's got the lead up to 14 now for the Lakers. We all know LeBron is a big-time athlete, but right there, uses pace and timing to get to where he wants. Now here's Beverly. Outside Leonard. Just five to shoot. 17-foot shot on the way. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Pope loose, and that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. And the Clippers making a switch here. George is checked in. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. LeBron against Beverly. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. LeBron outside. 
Trying to get open is Davis. Goes back up. And Howard with the lay-in. And the Lakers lead by 16. Uh, Howard really brings it on the offensive glass, using that wide wingspan to come up with those loose balls. And we're about two minutes into the fourth quarter now. Leonard, the pass to Morris. Over Davis. Morris, no good. Lakers leading by 16. Loads it up for Davis. It's stolen by Morris. Now Beverly. Now the feed to Leonard. Shot clock at five. Over Bradley. And that one hits back iron. The Lakers have gone three of four in field goal attempts since getting things started here in the fourth. Outside, Davis. He kicks it to LeBron. Ball's knocked loose. Stolen by George. Here's Leonard. And that one, good. Leonard's got four points now in the quarter. The power, the length, the ability to finish. Leonard dominant in that painted area. And the pass to Green. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Shot clock at six. Here's Davis. Tries again. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. And Howard living at the line. All about knocking him down. second free throw. And with Howard, his presence was missed in the lineup last year due to injury. And Howard isn't what he once was, but he can out, still make out. a difference on the floor. That size and rebounding really hard to replace on a team by just one player. And the Clippers call time here. The wheels have come off a little bit leading up to this timeout. He has taken some low percentage shots and it's killing the floor of their offense. More motion, more ball movement. That should lead to better looks for him and for the entire team. And his percentage from the field tonight seems almost made up. I, I didn't think it was possible to have that kind of success shooting the basketball. You, you need a little bit of luck, a bunch of hard work, and a whole lot of talent. On the road, in a tough atmosphere, he's taken on the role of star tonight. If one of their other players came up short, he picked up the slack to make sure they'll be walking out of here with a win. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in the state. 
Let's see if that pep talk got him going, guys. Now Bradley following the miss by Marcus Morris from deep. Inside, here's Green. The Clippers grab the miss. Even though he missed it, this is the exact play your offense is designed to produce. Great tee that time from Green. Shut down. This is the way you play defense. This is how you protect the rim. And this is going to end in a lopsided victory. I, I love the tenacity and aggressiveness as well as the ability to close. You really got to give it up here for the Lakers. This was a physical, physical game. Yeah, I mean, they were aware of the rotations defensively and were able to attack the rim. The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for Dwight Howard. You can't look back at too many major moments in this game and not see his imprint put all over it. Now, here's Bradley. Kawhi Leonard unable to get his shot to go. Bradley kicks to James. Make it five for ten with him in that bucket. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. It's called killer instinct. It's one thing to be close at the end. It's another to finish. And it's Leonard missing. And the truth is, I've been there. He's trying to find the rhythm on his shot. He feels like he's close, and that's why he keeps shooting. We've got 22 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Let's it go from 11. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. They just blocked out the noise, kept on grinding, and this is their reward. And guess what? It's going to be a fun flight home. Total team effort. Big win on the road. And the rejection by James. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thanks, Kevin. Anthony, tell us the focus for the team coming into the game tonight. Well, you know, before we start the game, you know, Coach came in and told us that we knew what we had to do. You know, we were trying to stop a lot of the actions. And, you know, our biggest focus for the game was guard the ball. Um, that's what we did, come out of that timeout and never look back. And it led to a win. Thank you for your time, Anthony. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.